Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie and I make YouTube videos for fun. So if you're new here, please subscribe. I make videos every week. I don't have a like singular day I'm posting right now, kind of just doing it whenever. I'm going to New York this Saturday and I'll be posting a very excited vlog with some influencers. So I'm very excited to go to that event. Um, so stay tuned for that. Today I'm doing an everyday makeup routine. So like I said, I've done a get ready with me, but I didn't show really products I was using. I was more just talking. So today I'm actually going to show the products I use. And my makeup changes a lot. Not necessarily the products, but how I do it. The face makeup's always the same. It's more within like eyeliner and like stuff like that. Like how dramatic my eye is. So since this is every day, I'm not going to do eyeliner. But sometimes when I go out, I love to do like the winged liner and then like the inner corner like fox eye but that's just not realistic for an everyday sometimes i'll do it during the day if i'm feeling like crazy but this is just going to be like my simple makeup routine if you're looking for new products i definitely recommend watching this because i'm not using what everyone's using right now um which i know is good because everyone's obsessed but i don't really have any of the products everyone's using right now one i don't really care to like go spend money half of them are expensive and I'm not gonna like stop using what I already have to go try that. I just like don't believe in that. I like using up what I have, then maybe I'll try them later. Also, I apologize for this lighting, it's very weird. So first, I'm going in with the Glossier Skin Tint. I'm obsessed with this. It's my second bottle and I rebought it because I was that obsessed. I don't remember like who I must have watched to find this, but it's the best stuff ever. It's very light coverage, so if you're looking something for full coverage, obviously like probably find a foundation. I feel like if I do this and then, um like enough concealer over the places i need then i'll be fine i'm breaking out so much right now so this isn't the best when it's like that but whatever this is just an it cosmetics brush i actually really like this one um also the other ones i'll be using are makeup revolution i'm obsessed you can literally get them from cbs the other brand i have is eco tools i like them but i hate to say them i think they're a little flimsier and like this is stiff i don't know i prefer the it cosmetics so this is adding like color to my face but not coverage i guess just a little but i do love it especially for like summer like this is a perfect thing for your skin i usually do use a primer or moisturizer but i'm literally just doing makeup for fun for this video i'm not going anywhere so i don't really want to put it on waste it my moisturizer is a little pricey um, I have a little bottle right now because I got it for my birthday, but currently I'm using Tula 24-7 Moisture. It's like the night and day cream. This is just a little one of it, but I usually get like the bigger tub, which the camera is balancing on right now. Um, but I love it. It's like, I don't know how much this one little one is, but like the bigger ones are like in the 40s and 50s range. So I just don't feel like wasting it because I have so little of it. The primer I sometimes use if I like really need it to last is the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I love this, it smells amazing. Again, I'm not gonna put on any right now. Going in with my Eco Tools little brush and the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I am obsessed with this. I also think this is like one of the best concealers I've ever used. If you get these together, this is the biggest part. If you get these together on the website, you literally get a discount instead of just getting them separately, which I don't think they used to do. Um, and I'm just putting this on all like my actual little acne spots. Um, I feel like it does a really good job at covering stuff up. So I'm just gonna blend those out. Next I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. My mom actually gave this to me. This one's in 22N, which is light neutral. I guess this fits me. I think she said it was too light for her, so definitely fine for me because I'm pale. Um, I kind of just only use this for the under eye because it's lighter and pretty brightening. So sometimes like I try to cover up more with this. Not that the other one didn't do a good job, but sometimes lighter concealer makes things go away. I don't know. I literally have no idea. I'm also should have said that. I'm not a makeup artist in any way. Like literally don't know shit. So like don't actually try to yell at me if I'm doing anything wrong. I know I've talked about this a bunch of times, but I'm obviously, like I said, going to New York Saturday and then March 5th I'm going back to New York. I'm going a ton coming up in March, um, but I'm just so excited. I'm going to see Nessa. 
I love her so much. Half of my like makeup inspiration is from like Madison Beer and Nessa. I love the way they do their makeup. They're beautiful naturally, but like the way they do it just like emphasizes their beauty. I've always loved like their makeup and their routines. So sometimes I tried to like do it in a way like the blush and the fake freckles I feel like is very on brand for them. It's like inspired by them. Okay, this is weird, but this is like not a brush. It's a sponge. And I got it in the bottom of a bronzer and I only just found it the other day, but I'm actually going to start using it for powder. This is a Tarte Translucent Shape Tape Setting Powder. Um, I like this. I definitely want to try ones that are like getting the hype right now, but I'm going to use up the rest of this because there's some left. This is like a sponge. I also know that's a thing right now is to use like the sponge right now, like everyone's using. I don't, this is my first time doing this, so this is gonna look a little crazy. I hate like things looking cakey. Like I always feel like my skin looks cakey setting things. But then again, I'm afraid if I don't set it, it's gonna like come off and transfer easier. So I'll just set that. Okay, next I'm obsessed with this. I feel like this is kind of getting the hype right now. Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I've heard about this so much and it's my first time using it. Um, I've been sun-kissed bronzer. I don't know if that's the name, but I feel like I've heard about this so much for like the actual bronzer. This smells like the best shit I've ever smelled in my entire life. It literally smells like, like coconuts. Like it reminds me of like a perfume. Like it literally smells the best thing I've ever smelled. Best makeup product I've ever smelled is this. So this is where that sponge came in in the bottom. I also love when products have a mirror in the bottom, but this came in there and now I'm using it for my powder. But this is like the perfect one. I was using Hula Bronzer and I don't have a problem with that at all. I just used it up and wanted to try this one. Um, so I like both a lot. I feel like Hula is a little darker. This is definitely more geared toward my shade because I'm a lot paler. My hoop earrings are just not it. Like probably should have waited to put them on. Now we're gonna go in with this. This is a dupe to the Charlotte Tilbury makeup contour wand stick thing. So if you need a cheaper dupe, this is it. This is the Makeup Revolution Eye Bright Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer in Deep Caramel. Also has vitamin C in it. But my friend showed me this. Um, shout out to Sabrina. She used to work at Ulta and she showed me this and was like, it's basically a dupe. And I got it. Um, like I had to get a bunch of makeup for uh, a graduation. Like a while ago and i like needed a bunch of products and she was like just try this like if you want a dupe for that and i've been obsessed ever since i honestly don't know if i'll ever try this charlotte tilbury because i'm just like why like if this works the same why do i need to go spend however much it is on it's probably 10 times cheaper and i'm gonna wash away this the rest of that eye stuff and then we're gonna go in with blush now i also use liquid and powder for this this is a super dewy liquid blush i am obsessed with it i've been using it forever as well and i think this is a perfect color i love these like darker pinks for blush i think it's so natural and pretty oh i did forget to like do bronzer on my nose which i usually do but i might do after the blush um but I just love, like, looking, like, sunburnt a little. I don't want to use a lot of money on makeup, but I do want to try the Dior Backstage, like, lighter pink blush because I do love, like, the darker pinks. But I think that would also look very pretty when you're, like, bronze and stuff. I already like the look of that. I really don't need to add anymore. But occasionally I do. This was sent to me, I think, in, like, an Ipsy bag. I used to get Ipsy bags. I think that's what it's called. It's like a makeup subscription. I'm also not sponsored by this in any way. Um, I just like used to get so much product in that. This is an Auto Bomb Girl Power like blush. I guess the brand's called The Bomb Cosmetics. I really do like it. It's literally like a, it literally looks like a matchbox and you open it like this. And I used a lot of it, but there's still a lot in there. And don't need to use any more, but Again, I kind of like using powder products over it sometimes to like set it more or just blend the other one. I don't need any more on my nose, so. Okay, I meant to like 
not really contour my nose but like do more bronzer on it i feel like it's the move right now everyone's doing the contour on the nose i watched a video of nessa doing her makeup the other day like i said i'm obsessed with her and everything she does is perfect and the way she like contoured her nose i was like okay that makes so much sense like let me try that then i tried it yesterday it just didn't look the same so i guess i'll do down the side like every girl does really don't know what i'm doing so this could look like shit and then she did something about like you do it like down here like a line i was like okay that makes sense and then she said something about doing also one like here like on the like end bridge of your nose and i was like okay and then it's supposed to like make your like see it kind of worked i guess like make your nose look like a a button no not a button nose but like blended try to blend it a little but like it did something like that line at least like it looks cute and more like whatever and then sometimes she also would just like go back in with a little more and like kind of emphasize okay next is highlighter I always use this looks all my makeup looks destroyed i swear this is like new the revolution insta fix skin lights highlighting stick i also this is the second time purchasing it i'm obsessed it's in gold light 210 um i only really use this one on my cheeks it is like a darker like almost like gold like i said i only really use it on my cheeks because i don't mind getting like sometimes it kind of looks like it's color over just a highlight again i do love like the like liquid cream stuff and then going in with a um powder so now i'm gonna go on with the becca freaking highlighter everyone's obsessed with champagne pop this one broke so i have to be really careful every time i open it i'm gonna go over where i did before and then she said something about like in between where you like bronze here but i feel like everyone just does it on their nose Sometimes I do it up here, cause why not? And then just like back on the cheeks. I feel like this lighting is actually pretty decent now. Okay, it's kind of looking slay right now, so. I feel like we're kind of getting to the end. Maybe this isn't as bad as I thought. But I feel like I'm boring. Like I usually talk about other shit and this time I'm like only talking about my makeup. I guess that's the point of a makeup routine. I don't know. I feel like this is boring. So let's see if I even edit this. If not, I'll probably refilm a whole nother video. Next, I do fake freckles. This is like Nessa Barrett's like inspiration on me. She does them so cute. And like, I've looked up photos. I'll put one like over here. Her freckles look so good. And again, they're fake. And like, she uses a bunch of different products. But like, every time I do them, I just never like them. Or like, they don't look real. Which I get they're fake. But like, they just never look good on me. I'm using a darker one. I have two. I'll show you in a minute. I got this off Amazon. I literally just like looked up freckle pen and there was two shades. One's like lighter and it still looks good, but I just used the darker one. That's the brand, I guess. I can link these. Also, I have an Amazon storefront. Probably should start putting in my description. Um, But it literally just says freckle pen. I don't even think there are like colors because this came in a pack. So I just kind of like blend these out with like a dry beauty blender make them less like noticeable i guess i just go on to mascara i guess i just use a curling elf eyelash curler and curl okay so i've heard great things about both so i had to try them they're both maybelline this one's the lash lash sensational and this is the sky high i feel like this has like the hype right now um so i use both i'm actually going to use this one first they're both water my camera cuts off at 25 minutes of filming, so that says a lot. I've already been filming for that long, so I probably should chill. I'm going in with mascara. That's pretty much almost the end. Um, I'm going in with this one first. Again, they're both waterproof, which I don't love, but I feel like it just makes your lashes stay up better. So I'm going with the Lash Sensational first. I opened this last night to like try again because I bought it probably a couple months ago. And I was like, ew, it's kind of clumpy and stuff. But then I used it last night and it did something. So I only put on a little and then like use this one to like really 
get in there. Heard the hype over this. And I do really like this one even alone. Like it does make my eyelashes look better than normal. Not saying good at all. This is not anything compared to girls on TikTok's eyelashes, but better than nothing. Battery's dying. You're kidding. Okay. I don't know what to do. Do I have another battery that's like full? If not, I'm gonna have to wait to do my lip liner. I hate this. My battery's about to die, so. I'm either gonna have to come back or I'll keep filming on my iPhone, but I'm gonna take off this mascara in the meantime. I charged the battery for like a little. It's probably gonna say it's dead in like 10 seconds. So I'm just gonna do this ending very, very quick. Um, but I basically just did more of the powder blush because I just tried to like blush up my face a little. I'm trying to look for the lip liner. It's literally in front of me. And then I put a bunch of lip liner on. I do overline my lips, but this is a lip liner I use. It's the NYX Line Loud Lip Pencil in Ambition Statement. I actually really do like it. It's like, I guess kind of close to like pillow talk. Like you love NYX lip pencils are so inexpensive and I've been trying a bunch, but I feel like I always went for the pinky ones and this one definitely matches my lip like color the most. Um, Sometimes I'll go in with like, a lip gloss like a clear one or like a light pink but i also most of the time just prefer going in with the aquaphor or not aquaphor this is vaseline and just going over because my lips get so chapped and it's just nice to like not have something sticky on especially with your hair down if you're going out like my biggest pet peeve is getting your hair caught in it but i just like to gloss them up with that the last product i also used was the uh, brow glue by NYX. I actually really like this, but it just has like a little brush It's pretty thick and there's no color because I tried some of the colors But it just makes my eyebrow eyebrows so much darker and they're already naturally this dark and then a lot of the time I just kind of like go through with a spoolie or like my fingers like that but That's pretty much my makeup routine. I hope you guys liked that. Um, I feel like it's just pretty like bronzy glowy sunburnt natural look again sometimes i like spruce up with like eyeliner or something when i'm going out but this is pretty much the basic everyday um makeup routine i'll link all the products below um either like just say the products or if i can find the link for them i'll do that as well also i'll make an amazon storefront of all these products and just do like my everyday makeup routine and literally have all them listed as long as most of them are on amazon definitely go check out my storefront because i have so much shit listed on that like even products that I love on Amazon. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know if you liked any of these products or tried them out. Um, also recommend me videos to do for the future or other makeup products. Um, I'm going to be doing a very exciting vlog in New York City this Saturday so that will be up probably Sunday, Monday or maybe Tuesday of next week so look forward to that and I'll have a couple special guests in it, some influencers and my friend and a bunch of people, so I'm really excited for that, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching, hope you like this, and follow my social medias. There's always mental health stuff below if needed. My DMs are always open, and if no one told you they love you today, I love you so much, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching, love you.